Hello, my name is Eric de Brabander. I hold the Chair of International Dispute Settlement at Leiden University and currently I'm also the Director of the International Law Department, the Grotius Center for International Legal Studies. I also practice at the Brussels Bar in law firm De Meulemeester and De Brabandere, mostly active in international arbitration, uh, where I act as counsel and also sit as arbitrator. I'm a member of the Academic Council of the Institute for Transnational Arbitration and this video is part of the series what I'm working on. So as the name indicates, uh, I want today to share with you some uh, ideas on the project I am working on, which is basically a book chapter uh, on the coherence and consistency debate in international investment law in relation to the reform proposals. This chapter is part of a book uh, based on a, conferences, a conference sorry, organized a couple of years ago by colleagues from the University of Sheffield uh, in memory of the late Professor John Merrill's a specialist and one of the pioneers in international uh, dispute settlement. So in this chapter, uh, I want to generally engage with the question whether coherence, consistency are a problem and whether they as such, if they are a problem, can be remedied by reform proposals. Mostly the European Commission and the European Parliament have noted that there was a need, and I quote here from a resolution of the European Parliament in 2015, uh, whereby it explained that there was a need for an appellate tribunal where consistency of the judicial decisions is ensured. So inconsistency, incoherence has often been used as a problem of the current investment law regime, which needs to be remedied. And this then is uh, remedied or should be remedied by an international court standing body, an international court tribunal and or an appellate mechanism. So I look first at what we mean by coherence and by consistency. Uh, first of all, coherence is, is the idea um, that something uh, binds everything, uh, that there is a coherence between the various uh, sub-elements of a system. Everything hangs, hangs together, fits together, has a certain logic. I argue that mostly in international investment law and arbitration, there is no problem of incoherence. In treaty-based cases, notably, and I take this as a leading example, the secondary rules on treaty interpretation, on treaties more generally, the rules on state responsibility um, are there and do in fact ensure a coherence of international investment law. Consistency is different. It basically means that um, similar situations should have similar outcomes or should be treated in a similar uh, identical or analogous manner. So two disputes that are similar should result in a similar outcome. So this, um, as you may know, has been problematic in certain instances um, whereby disputes that, for instance, had the same treaty uh, were either uh, decided in a different manner or the treaty provisions in themselves have been interpreted uh, differently. Um, this may be of course a problem. Uh, the question then is first do we seek consistency as such as a value that needs to be pursued and then the second question is uh, if that is the case will a court or tribunal in fact achieve this? I also look at the question of determinacy and determination of the content of uh, the law for an investment where I note that uh, despite the inconsistent inconsistency in the treaties themselves, um, there is no radical indeterminacy. That is, there is um, a general agreement amongst lawyers that certain concepts have a core understanding. But of course, beyond that core understanding, you find differences in treaty norms and this is precisely the consequence of the absence of a multilateral agreement on certain uh, norms. So if we consider that it, coherence is not a problem, consistency might be, the first question we need is do we need to ensure consistency? 
Um, I leave this a bit open, uh, but I look mostly at the question whether a court tribunal can achieve this. So the first question is, of course, in light of an inconsistent set of norms, it is difficult, of course, to achieve consistency. Within a single treaty, consistency uh, might be more easy to achieve, and then, of course, a standing body uh, uh, might be more uh, uh, prone to accepting a coherence, uh, consistency sorry, uh, throughout time than uh, ad hoc tribunals, which are basically, again, uh, the idea that arbitrators decide independently of others how one uh, treaty should apply to a given set of facts. But I also contrast it to the International Court of Justice, to other standing bodies, uh, where you see that uh, norms, including internal procedural norms, do evolve over time. Treaty interpretation does evolve over time. Different composition might result in different outcomes. Uh, and so even standing bodies, despite being institutionally um, more permanent than ad hoc uh, arbitration or arbitration more generally is not necessarily a guarantee to have one single uh, norm interpreted in one single manner throughout uh, time. So many questions are still open. Uh, so if you have any input, uh, feel free, of course, to get in touch with me. Uh, for now, I thank you uh, for your attention.